Welcome back. To Alaska, where the long, dark, sad days of winter are finally in retreat. Where we started feeling as though our lives were stuck in December with recent snowfall and seemingly never ending darkness. And here, change is gradual. And when it comes to the change of seasons, we are always ready for it. Taking steps forward in our lives and committing ourselves to whatever it is the universe is trying to show us. Today, we begin where we left you last, Valdez, Alaska, where you can find yourself sandwiched between the mountains and the ocean in the most perfect way. And Alaskans are finally coming out of hibernation and exploring this beautiful state in the most unique ways. We enjoyed a week of exploring the cute little town of Valdez, Alaska, pre-season, before all the visitors started to pour in for its beautiful views and world-class fishing. This is a town we could spend the entire summer in, but it was time to eat and rest. And finally, let go of the winter recreational fun we had been having in our Winnebago Revel 4x4 Sprinter. Heading north again to wash off eight months worth of fun and memories. Filling up on water and essentials in the city of Anchorage and then hitting the road again. This time, Jim said, let's head south. There should be less snow. So we did and well, it's May and you would think that less snow is what we would find, but no. It is, of course, still there. Because in Alaska, there's some summers where we have snow well into the month of June. And that's okay. All we really needed was a place to call our own for the night, a river for Ember, and each other. Because when we have all three, we have happiness. And we found happiness and then some, in this typical little off-grid remote Alaskan campground, where Ember found her own little slice of heaven for the first time in eight long months. And she was ready. But this section of the river proved to be too strong for her, and she's growing older, and although she had her own little water park. She was making us nervous. The beauty of finding these spots early is we could move one spot over to the empty host spot, which is actually the best spot in the campground. The water was calmer and Ember had her own little swimming pool.
We don't mind risking a rare bear encounter this summer over last summer spent with red ants, rattlesnakes, coyotes, and 104 degree temperatures. This turned out to be the perfect spot to call home. Enjoying the night. It's not too cold, so take advantage of it. And for it being May, there's a lot of snow left. These are called high bush cranberries. And it's actually kind of surprising to see them in the spring because that means that they survived last fall, winter, and no bears ate them. That's pretty cool. Watch the moon rise over the mountains, cook good meals, and simply reconnect by disconnecting and embracing this season of change. Those are our new coffee cup. Pretty cool. Ooh, I like it. Bumblebee. Good morning, Ember. Is there a coat of Ember all over me? You've been busy. <laughs> Amber is so happy. She's just been playing in her own little swimming pool this morning. She's been out there for about an hour right now. And she wants us to throw something, but we won't because it's running really fast. But this little part is perfect for her to play in.
So it's been a hectic winter. It was a really hard winter on us this year. Uh, we dealt with a lot of stuff in our personal lives and we're excited to be back out here testing everything out, making sure everything's working, testing out our new upgrades that we've been doing to the van over the last month. Kind of exciting stuff. And today we're gonna try the awning. We haven't put it out all winter long, so we just wanna test it and see if it's actually working still. I guess that answers that question. And the lights are still working too. We're just gonna go ahead and leave this out for a little while and let it air out. And uh, we've had this for three years now and obviously there's no issues with our awning. After grounding ourselves in this beautiful spot and coming out of our cocoons again, it was here that it hit me hard. That transformations are a part of life. We are constantly being changed by the things around us and nobody can control that. Nobody can control the environment the economy, luck, or the moods of others in our lives. That's not for us to define. Compositions change. Positions change. Dispositions change. Experiences change. Opportunities and attitudes change. We all have changed. We changed our careers and goals and our lives, but there's two things that have remained steady and that is our love for each other and traveling. And through all of these transformations, life continues. And we enjoy our time here next to the river where time seems to melt into the sounds of the river. Where if you listen to those sounds close enough and for long enough, they possess a special magic that erases any worries or anxieties you might be facing. Sure. 
our pot handles are now. One of the goals of our channel this season is going to be to showcase different locations that we like to stay at and give a little bit more detail of the places we go here in Alaska. And one of those places, which is our favorite, is right here at the Granite Creek Campground. This campground is located about two hours south of Anchorage and it's in the Chugach National Forest just past Turnigan Pass. So if you're headed south out of Anchorage, you go through Turnigan Pass and it'll be on your left hand side. During the off season, which we're here really early, it's mid-May, and during this time frame, it's still free. There are no services, it's very remote, uh, you have no hookups. It's a typical primitive campground that you'll find in Alaska. During the middle of summer, it's about $20 a night. A couple things that you should be aware of on this campground, is it is frequented by bears, moose, and porcupine. So you wanna make sure that you have some kind of personal protective gear with you, whether that's bear spray or a firearm. And there's also really bad mosquitoes here during the middle of summer. We've had a few mosquitoes on this trip, but it is nothing like it is in the middle of summer. And just be prepared for that. Have your bug spray ready, make sure that you can create a fire to create that smoke to keep the bugs away. The campsites, there's about 18 of them here and they're pretty dispersed. They're separated quite a ways so you really can't see your neighbors very often but you can hear them through the woods. We love this area because of the views of the mountains and the forest and of course Ember has a river to play in. Good evening and welcome back for another Instant Pot Inspiration. It's been a little while since we've done this and tonight I'm going to do a nice little stir fry that I've come up with from the top of my head. I'm going to start by browning our onions and searing our meat. So I'm just going to add a little bit of oil here. 
And I'm gonna use about half a cup of onions. While we're waiting for our onions to become clear, we wanted to show you a product that we just got from Inhabit Design Works. We haven't had a whole lot of opportunity to use it, but we are very impressed by it. And look how organized our drawers are now. So up in this top drawer, we have a salt and pepper shaker, our bowls, a Gerber knife, and our teaspoons. In our second drawer, all of our silverware is completely organized. We have high quality knives. They're incredibly sharp. I used this one for breakfast this morning and it was so good. It's a Japanese stainless steel. Don't quite sure know what it is yet, but we'll keep you updated on this. We used to just throw everything inside these drawers. Now we can actually be organized, which is really helpful. I'm gonna add in our meat just to sear that meat a little bit. And this is stir fry cut meat. We're gonna go ahead and pressure cook our meat and onions. And we're gonna use this spicy Sichuan sauce, stir fry sauce. Seal up our instant pot. Make sure our valve is closed correctly. And we like our meat and our stir fries to be nice and tender. So I'm gonna do a 20 minute cook time here. Just hit keep warm and our instant pot is fired up and running. After the 20 minute cook time, We'll do a quick five minute natural release and then we'll quick release everything that's left inside it. After that, we'll add in our vegetables and we'll let that saute for a little bit. Our five minute natural release is complete. We're gonna quick release the rest of it. Our valve has dropped, which means we can safely open the instant pot. Add in our rice. Give it a good stir. Put the instant pot on saute. Stir it up again. It's sauteed for about five minutes. We're gonna go ahead and pull out our bowls from Design Works, same company that does our flooring. Depending on the model year of your Revel, depends on the setup that you will receive because different models have different size drawers. Loads of flavor, tender meat, good stuff, let's eat.
After that delicious meal, it was time to clean up, press Alaskan fresh coffee, and enjoy a show that only Mother Nature can offer. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. So, what have we learned today? It has been said that for a person to be truly happy, all they really need is someone to love, something to do, and something to hope for. Well then, we have it. You see, we discovered not too long ago that the advantage to being happy is moving the goalpost forward and realizing that happiness is right here, right now, in this very moment. We have come to accept the feeling and be happy with not knowing where we're going. And we've decided to love it because it's only when we suspend ourselves in midair with no landing in sight that we force our wings to unravel and begin our flight. Fearlessly changing in size but not direction, just like the moon, which to us represents the powerful force of hope. Maybe there's no magic in it, but when you know what you hope for most, and hold on to it like the light within you, you can make things happen. Almost like the magic of flight. And as we fly, we still may not know where we're going, but the miracle is in the unfolding of our wings. So spread your wings and let the winds of the universe carry you to wherever you are supposed to be. And until next week, Say hello to us in our comments below. Press the like and subscribe buttons to show your support. And as always, stay happy, healthy, and safe. We'll see you again soon.